So Grasshopper was originally created in 2007, and originally it was made famous by architects who would use it to create complex geometrical forms. If you've ever heard the term parametric design, this is what it's referring to, using algorithms to create complex geometrical forms. This is not what this course is about. It's related because you usually would do parametric design in Grasshopper, but we're here to learn Grasshopper, not parametric design. Some might ask, so when is it possible to use Grasshopper as a coding language, and why would I turn to Grasshopper over other coding languages such as C Sharp, Python, Visual Basic, C++, the list goes on and on. And again, the answer comes back to the origins of Grasshopper. Grasshopper was meant as a plugin to Rhinoceros, a tool for designers. And as such, as we go through this course, you will hopefully see that the language is much more accessible to designers who do not have a background in coding and computer science. So the bar to entry for Grasshopper and other flow-based programming medium like Grasshopper is generally less, meaning that your learning curve will be much less steep than in other programming languages, and you can get down to business much faster because of that shorter learning curve. The key here is that Grasshopper is meant for you as an engineer just as much as it's for architects and it has a shorter learning curve. Of course, on the other side, because it's a shorter learning curve, there are certain technical concessions that you give up, but for the first part of your computational engineering career, you don't need to worry about those. You just need to focus in on understanding how to best utilize this coding language, which has been geared towards you and other designers.